Hi, my name is Jules, Head of Workshop Services for Evan Cycles. I have 20 years experience in the cycle industry and train our mechanics to recognise national standards. We are the only cycle retailer in the UK to have approved SciTech training status, which helps us maintain high standards. Okay, we're going to clean the bike now. We're going to start cleaning the frame, then we're going to clean the drive train and then the chain. What we're going to use is a product like Muckoff or a similar branded product, which we spray onto the bike, spray it onto the frame. Also works as a bit of a degreaser, so we can spray it on the sprockets and chain derailleurs, just to let them soak for a bit. Once we've got good coverage of the bike, just allow it to soak for a few minutes or for a minute or so. Then we're using a bucket of water, using a rag, we can literally just wipe it all over. It's always best to start from the top of the bike, work your way down. Generally the lower part of the bike is always dirtier, or has more grease on it than the top tube. Once you down both sides, you're cleaning your wheels as well, spray the wheels and repeat the same process. If you're using particular products, one of the manufacturer's guidelines, some products, cleaning products will state you need to use fresh water to rinse off a cleaning agent, otherwise it can create discoloration of your frame. So uh, always follow the uh, cleaning products instructions. Once we've actually cleaned the main frame, we can get on to actually degreasing the rear gears. The product I'm using here is the same degreaser that we will use to actually clean the chain. A smaller type brush which is specially designed to get in between the sprockets clear out any crud. So once we've soaked our degreaser in there we can just work the brush around the sprockets and just work it around using our brush. If there's any particular bits caked in between the sprockets we can use a jagged edge part of the brush tool to try and get in between and pull out any grime. And once we're happy, our sprockets are nice and clean. The majority of the fill from road grime removed. We do the same for our chain set. Doing the inside sprocket first, and then the outside sprocket. Don't forget to do the insides of the chain ring as well. Once we've done that and removed all the dirt and we're happy with it, we then get a rag and we just lightly wipe over any excess grime from our chain set. Again to do the smaller chain ring, we just derail the chain back up into the big chain ring now on our safe access. And we just remove any degreaser from the inside. We're now ready to move on to fitting our specialist chain cleaner. It's made up two halves, go together. We've got fastening clips which hold it together. So what we do, we assemble this onto the actual chain and then we fill it with cleaning fluid which is supplied with the actual cleaning kits. The chain drops in between the brushes. What we do, we've got a little indication line there which shows us how much fluid to actually put into this chain cleaner. We place the lid on top, securing it with the actual clips. Holding the chain device, we just pedal it forwards. So we go around for a couple of minutes until we happy we've worked out all the grease and all the oil and grime that's built up on our chain system. You can see the colour of the cleaning fluid has actually changed colour, it's going to a very dark grey black which shows it's working. To relieve the chain all we need to do is just squeeze the bottle very gently, applying a minimum amount of oil to the chain 
really only need to go around one revolution of the chain. So we're just going to place the rag around the chain and pedal forwards. This helps to spread the fresh oil across the whole chain and any surplus excess oil is removed onto the rag as well. When the chain is well lubed, if you pass your finger on the chain, you should have a very small amount of oily residue left on your finger. Now we're going to move on to lubricating the pivot points on the derailleur. There's only four pivots on each derailleur. Sometimes you may not be able to get direct access to them, but simply just dribbling a tiny little bit of oil above a pivot point, gravity will do its thing and pull the oil downwards. Rear derailleur, we do the same thing. Try and get some oil to flow into actual main moving parts. We don't want to over oil it because we just pick up loads of road grime and muck again and make our bike really dirty. Once it's been lubricated, just work the gears up and down a few times to spread oil and make sure it penetrates into all the pivot pins. Once we've worked with the railers a few times and gone up and down the gears a few times, what we do. Using our rag, we're just going to wipe off any excess oil. The only oil we require should be in the pivots already. And that'll be our derailleur system and our chain correctly looped.